President Trump today touting the letter that he received from North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un, suggesting there remains a path forward on denuclearization, despite no concrete plans for a third summit. Joining me now to discuss this and much more is Ash Carter, the Secretary of Defense under President Obama from 2014 to 2016. Secretary Carter's out with a new book titled Inside the Five-Sided Box, Lessons from a Lifetime of Leadership in the Pentagon. Secretary Carter, thanks so much for being here and congratulations on the book. Very exciting. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You write a lot about North Korea. Obviously, North Korea is a big part of what any Secretary of Defense uh, talks about plans for. What do you make of how President Trump talks about Kim Jong-un, talks about these letters, sometimes seems to be giving Kim Jong-un the benefit of the doubt, even over the CIA? Well, well you could think that was a negotiating uh, tactic. Um, and from time to time, uh, we have it with his father also. And I saw uh, previous presidents that I worked for, including George Bush one with the grandfather, try to ingratiate themselves with him. So I, I, I could get that. But we don't seem to be getting anything where on denuclearization. I think that's what we really need to focus, uh, uh, focus on. So I'd like to see more forward movement uh, there to go along with this tactic. I'd like to see it getting somewhere. So the president would argue to play devil's advocate that there have been no nuclear tests by nu North Korea right. since right. 2017. Ho U.S. hostages have been released. Uh, repatriated remains of U.S. soldiers sure. who fought in the Korean War have, have come to the United States. That's not enough, though. Well, it's not denuclearization. That's all. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I welcome those things. We've had halts before in missile tests and nuclear tests, and that's, that's, that's very good. But our ultimate goal, going right back to when they first made the pledge in 1992 to President Bush won, because I've been, as the book yeah. says, working Pentagon since 1981. For quite some time, yeah. Um, they first made that promise in 1992. They've never kept the promise. I think we'd like to see them make the, the promise. So that's the ultimate goal here. But, you know, we're glad that they're not doing more in the meantime, for sure. So take a listen to something President Trump said just moments ago about where we are in relationship to North Korea versus where we've been. Sure. If you look back to the last four, five, six years, but really go back further than that, in all fairness to President Obama, go back 20 years, 15 years. It was really a very dangerous situation. I consider it to be... A, different now. I mean, nobody's done anything except me. Is it different now? Uh, we have, as I said, have had pauses before when uh, uh, Secretary of State Rice and uh, uh, or, uh, National Security Advisor Rice and Colin Powell were talking to the North Koreans. I remember that also 2006, 2007. For a time, it seemed we would have a pause. Then the North Koreans exploded a nuclear weapon. Uh, there was a pause on missile tests in the late 1990s. There was something in 1994 where they completely got rid of, uh, uh, pledged to and began to take steps towards get, completely get rid of their nuclear arsenal. So we have seen things like this uh, before. You served under five U.S. presidents, as you note. Yeah. Um, in the book, you say you could never work for President Trump. And you write, quote, by no means do I disagree with all his policies, but there would be major differences between us on important issues like Russia, the Middle East, and the importance of alliances. More important, I couldn't support decisions about defense made on sudden impulse. Tell me yeah, what you mean well, by that. Defense is serious. If you're going to take a job with a president, you have to feel that you could help. Your jo first job as Secretary of Defense is to help the president. I don't see this president taking the advice of his secretary of defense. And therefore, I don't, I don't see how, given what I know, I could succeed in helping uh, President Trump because he doesn't naturally relate to his secretary of defense in the way that, say, President Reagan did to my first boss, Casper Weinberger, when mm -hmm. he was secretary of defense, or uh, President Bush one did to Dick Cheney when Dick or, or President Clinton to Bill Perry, and so forth. I could I could keep going, and certainly President Obama did to me. He didn't always we didn't always agree. He didn't always take my advice, but he always listened to my advice. That's why I wouldn't get into a situation where I don't think I could do him. I don't think I know how to do him any good. And I've been around long enough to say that to know that when the president said when the president offers you a job, you don't automatically say yes. You say to yourself, Can I help? 
the president to be the mm. president. And I wouldn't know how to do that in this circumstance. The book is Lessons from a Lifetime of Leadership in the Pentagon, Inside the Five-Sided Box by former Defense Secretary Ash Carter. Always good to see good you. To see Thanks you so much for being Thanks here. Appreciate it. Here.